Hello, Raleigh. Welcome again to Your Backyard, Raleigh. Today I'm coming to you from the Y by Y Mobile. I'm at the transfer food hall getting a local cup of coffee. But today I have a special treat for you. We've gone a little bit of a tangent, and we are today sitting down with Nancy Warden and Alan Elkin of Vascular Wellness. Hello, Nancy and Alan. Hello. Hello, Robert. And um, it's Edkin, not Elkin, but that's perfectly okay. No problem. Um, At this point, the T and the L look kind of alike on the screen. For now and henceforward, it shall be Elkin. And don't correct me again, sir. Thank you very much. (laughs) But do tell us, please, a little bit about vascular wellness. Go ahead, Alan. Okay, so vascular wellness is a nursing company that provides vascular access procedures. And I would defer to Nancy, who's our registered nurse and our lead clinician, and she can go into a little bit more about what we do on a daily basis. Please, Nancy. Thank you. Um, We are a vascular access management company. We come in um, to hospitals, um, long-term care facilities, long-term care acute hospitals, skilled care hospitals, even some patients in their own home environment and place vascular access devices. By vascular access devices, it's anything from the standard peripheral IV that you would get in your hand or arm when you go to the hospital to a midline catheter, a pick line catheter that is a central line that goes further down into the chest. Um, Our clinicians clinicians do advanced procedures um, that were typically um, placed by physicians. So we place those in the neck, the leg, the chest, and we also um, are providing dialysis catheter placements Mm. now. So what does it look like? What does all of that mean? Um, Vascular health, as we all know, is very important. Our vessels, what you're born with, our veins, it's what you have. They don't grow back, they don't regenerate. So you want a team that knows what they're doing, that that specializes in this. Oh, wow, you're... I can assure you, if I'm getting any of those placed into me, I want a nurse who knows exactly what they're doing and has done it several times. Uh, um, where'd you go to school, Nancy? Um, I went to Winston-Salem State and University of Texas. Nice. Um, and uh, so y'all serve a lot of different uh, vendors from hospitals to individuals. How far will you travel? What's y'all's footprint? Um, so home base is in Cary, North Carolina. So for the state of North Carolina, we like to say we can cover from the coast all the way to the mountains, to the Tennessee, from Tennessee border. Um, we cover, cover South Carolina and Virginia as well. So we have clinicians strategically placed in all of those areas managed by territory managers in the same area. Well, that's a very big footprint. Thank you for headquartering right here in Wake County. We appreciate that. Um, I would imagine that you have uh, a lot of interesting stories and a lot of interesting patients. Could you share one or two of those with us? Of course. Um, You know, we're always HIPAA sensitive. So I'll just give you some general stories. Please, Um, yes. I don't want to cry. Yeah. (laughs) Most patients, um, you know, are very scared when they see us and um, they're very apprehensive. You know, you're gonna place a what, where, and it's gonna end up very close to my heart. What are you doing? Um, They quickly, they, you know, we've had them um, lock themselves in the bathroom when they know we're coming to see them. So we have to coax them, you know, out of the bathroom. It's gonna be okay and get back in the bed. Um, We've had them answer to another name that, you know, they have all of a sudden have an alias. I'm not who you say I am. You're the wrong person. <laughs> to try to avoid. We've had them ask us, you know, you need to knock me out. You need to put me to sleep. We uh, have to explain, no, no, you don't need to go to sleep. This is a very, you know, I know it's scary, but it's actually a very simple process. We're done in about 15 to 20 minutes. So once we get them there and they realize we make their arm go good and asleep, um, just their arm. They don't go to sleep, just their arm. Right. They realize, wow, these people come in with an ultrasound. 
they don't poke and pry. They find one place they're going to. It's a one and done kind of stick. And it's over with. And most, we've had them after so much apprehension fall asleep under our sterile drape that we had to wake them up when they're finished. <laughs> oh, is it over already? Oh. Yeah. yeah they, 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 can't, they can't believe it. So um, that's always nice to see. You know you've done a good job when you've talked to literally off the ledge. Right. To get the procedure. So. Well, Nancy, my mom uh, was a nurse, recently retired, also a professor of nursing. And if there's anything I've learned from her and my healthcare experience is that a good nurse is where a lot of the health care actually appears. You know, my experience, the doctor comes in, da, 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 go on. But the real care is provided by the nurse. And uh, I can tell you the difference when you're getting these procedures done, having somebody who appreciates your fear or your sensitivity, someone with a gentle but professional touch, one and done. I think is the mark of a, of a good nurse. So um, uh, I can really appreciate how your patients must feel for you and uh, enjoy having a professional. Um, has the, oh, has the COVID, it's all me. Um, has the uh, quarantine affected you guys? You know, we're in like 90 days. How have y'all had to zig and zag now that we got a quarantine overlay? You know, that's a very good question. I'm very proud to say um, it really hasn't. Of course, our team, we have ha we have obeyed the CDC, NIH, local state government guidelines, but we're a central service. So next to these, the COVID, we've, we've treated COVID patient, patients at the beginning. So next to the airway, helping them breathe, the very um, next most important thing is vascular access and maintaining stable vascular access. So um, once um, the team, the respiratory team is breathing for them, we come in and place a central line so they can get the rest of their therapies. So quite the opposite from a lot of, a lot of companies right now, we've actually been very, very busy keeping uh. the COVID patients what they need. And it's been really, it's humbling because they're very sick and watching them progress and get better has been um, something to see. Wow. Um, and uh, are you guys hiring or what's in the future for vascular wellness? Yes, sir. So, Robert, I, would just, I would just say one more quick thing about the whole COVID situation. <clears throat> so excuse my technical problems because my Bluetooth switched off to my wife's phone and the car and um, <clears throat> all sorts of fun things. So I kind of missed some of that conversation, but I wanted to let you guys know that um, our nurses, everyone's been incredible. Um, the clinicians and have been heading towards the COVID patients. They put on their PPE. They've been do working overtime, long, long hours, um, running out, doing procedures at 8 and 9 p.m., driving across the state, across three states. There really are, you know, when people talk about the nurses as being heroes and all that, I, I you know, this crisis has really brought out the true characteristics of our clinicians and including the back end and the administrative support team, too. So everyone from the call center um, dispatch, the administrator on call, to the clinicians, to the back office system. It really has been an incredible effort. Um, incredibly proud. I mean, I sit here and I do paperwork and I'm, you know, I'm not a nurse and all that, uh, but I'm just really, really, really proud and, and impressed by, by the team. It's really incredible. Um, not being a nurse, not being around medical um, most of my life, this has really been eye-opening and um, super, super proud of everybody. Um, uh, I'm proud of you guys too, and I'm just learning about it. So um, <laughs> uh, uh, I do have a huge affection for nurses in my heart. I do know that so much of the health care is provided daily and not just the procedures, but the TLC, the tender loving care that a nurse can bring to the relationship is a big part of the healing, right? We want to feel connected and that's a big part. So, um, and it's uh, also the families, the families are, are, in the, are supporting as well. So these, these, whether it's a for any kind of first responder after a long day, 
are going home to their families, right? So in our situation with the clinicians, they're going home, they're stripping off, taking off all their clothes, leaving them in the garage, hopping in the shower, and then pretending as if it's been a never normal day and mm -hmm. hanging out with their family and their kids and, and hoping that everything has gone right and they're not bringing the virus into their household, into their extended families, their friends, the, you know, the close, their close um, connections and their, their close relationships. And that's incredibly stressful. And so whether it's a clinician in our situation with COVID-19 or it's a, it's a, a first response or first responder who's dealing with a high stressful situation of a fire, uh, a, a death or any of these situations then to come home as if nothing's happened. Um, and to deal with normal situations, normal issues like we all deal with, with, with you know, your kid doing his, his or her homework and is, are the dishes at the dishwasher and all those other things that, you know, it's just you have to transition from one to the other. And that transition, they make it look easy. They really do make it look easy. And I think all of us really don't appreciate that how different work is and home is when people are in those situations. Uh, Nancy, I'm going to applaud. You take a bow. Oh, goodness. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> but we are, but you were going, you were talking. <laughs> yeah, and Nancy's been wonderful. Nancy leads the team. Nancy puts on the scrubs and, and also does business development. She she really does so much. They essentially like two full-time jobs um, and, and all that. But, but, but so speaking of which, so yeah, we are, we are hiring. We are recruiting. We are growing. So, so yeah, so any, any clinician that has ultrasound experience, um, placement of line experience, even a very high quality clinician who, who comes highly recommended what we've done training for. Um, so yeah, so if there's a, if there's clinicians out there that are, that, you know, want something different, want the flexibility, the autonomy, the independence of going into a facility, performing the procedure and being part of a, a, a 25 person team, uh, 25 plus person team um, where, you know, there's a lot of camaraderie and you're not alone um, in terms of being connected through, through, through phone and, and, and text and all that. It's a wonderful opportunity to not be, to have it switch from, let's say, a hospital environment or a doctor office environment um, and to have that, that kind of um, ownership of it, right? Ownership of a territory going in, representing it, being the face of the company and um, having a great team behind you, supporting you every step of the way. And if we should know a uh, practitioner, how would we get in touch with vascular wellness? Um, you can go to our website. There's a link on our website, vascularwellness.com. At the very bottom, there's an HR link. Um, you could email HR at vascularwellness.com. Um, our best um, prepared nurses, even if you don't have um, ultrasound experience, typically are from ICUs, ERs, flight transport teams, NICU, PICU for pediatrics, because we do care for neonates all the way up to, you know, is, is I think our oldest patient was 108. Yeah. So, and, what your, and what was your youngest patient, Nancy? Like two months old? Um, well, corrected age about a week, but they came into the world early, oh. about, um, you know, 12 weeks early. So premature, premature baby that wasn't technically supposed to be here yet. So oh. um, we cover all age spans and um, we have a strong education component. So if a facility or a patient that's sitting at home with a PICC line needs education um, we have education services as well and we can do mass education so if you have a hospital that needs check off a yearly or because um, nurses need a yearly check off to care for these kinds of lines mm -hmm. we can assist with that we have several arms so i just encourage you to go to that website and check it out um a, a, a little bit about our best hires we have even hired new graduate nurses in the past. I know that sounds kind of strange, and you know it was a it was a huge leap of faith. But I'm very glad it's one we made because we were able to pull them into the fold before they had any. I don't want to say bad habits, but 
Set up uh, yes. Habits. You know, us, been, us nurses that have been doing this a while, we know those those shortcut habits that are not necessarily yeah. always the, the, the best way. So we were able to bring new graduates into the fold and teach them the way that we wanted them to know and, and, and practice. And this is a, a funny um, tidbit. Some of the younger nurses that are coming out now, millennials, Generation Z, um, they are really good with the ultrasound. You hand them, them the ultrasound, they can find that vein, they can see their needle, their hand-eye coordination is phenomenal because wow. it's a generation that grew up with video games. Exactly. So um, we have been pleasantly surprised by that because learning the ultrasound and seeing your needle is very important when you're you're poking a needle around an artery that you can't hit. So handing them the ultrasound and they just kind of click and they get that from the beginning. Um, we don't say no to new graduates. You know that we we need a a strong recommendation from one of their professors last um, semester professors. Um, but they, they have really done beautifully for us. So. Well, nice. Well, Nancy, the team at Your Backyard Raleigh salutes you and all the nurses on the front line. Thank you for what you do for us. Um, Raleigh, everywhere, really, from South Carolina, east, north, if you have a vascular wellness issue or you are a nurse or a practitioner looking, vascular wellness is right here in your backyard. Give them a call. Uh, Alan, Nancy, thank you for joining me. Let's wave it off and say, Raleigh, give us a call sometime. Yeah. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you, John. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, guys.